different kind of vlog today. I'm actually stuck in a neighboring city because of a snowstorm. I was traveling back home after visiting my parents for Christmas and New Year's. On the way over, I was just looking outside the window on the train and I just saw the weather getting worse and worse and I was like, nah, I'm not gonna make it home tonight. So last night I just booked a hotel. I was supposed to leave this morning and go back home to my spot, but weather's got worse. All public transportation's been canceled and stuff. No taxis available, nothing. So I'm here for one extra day. Yeah, I know what that means. I gotta get to the grind. Gotta hit the gym. Luckily, the hotel I'm staying at has free, where they hand out cards so you can get in to the gym over here. Key card, so why not use it? Get in here and make a gym vlog, right? Didn't have any 32.5 dumbbells here. So I just went ahead and start off with 35 kilos for three sets. Surprisingly, got 10 reps on all three sets. Got the video, I'm not gonna, I'm not sure if I'm gonna overlay this on top of the uh, exercise itself or just speak after, but um, yeah, 35 kilos, 10 reps, three sets, pretty good. That's an improvement. And it's surprising actually, because a couple weeks before I was doing the same thing, but couldn't get 10 reps on all of them. I've always run out of gas, right? If I have enough battery, I'll show you guys what's going on outside. It's like the worst combination possible. You got snow and hella wind, too much wind. And it's not just a calm, steady wind, it's gusty. So one moment you're getting it in front of you, from the side, behind you. So it's not the best combo to have and it's just pretty much shut down everything. And it's pretty surprising that that can happen in the country that I live in, right? In Norway, you don't really expect that, but it is what it is. Regardless of all of that, we still gotta get the work in. I'm here, it's Superset City. Start off with dumbbell shoulder press today. I thought it'd be best to go with uh, biceps, triceps, and shoulders today because of safety. Because last week I had a little episode in my back. I'll explain that when I get to my leg day vid, but I'm on a bit less sleep than usual. And usually when you get to a new environment and you sleep there for the first night, you're not gonna have the greatest sleep ever. So. I slept, but it wasn't like usual. So I thought because of safety, it's better that I do biceps, triceps, and shoulders, get that out the way. And then when I get back home and get settled, I can start doing my chest and back and my legs as usual. But up next, I've got overhead tricep extensions and rear delt flies laid up against the bench on an incline on both of them. Let's get to it. started the exercise and I realized that I'm actually doing the wrong thing. Uh, let me see. Dumbbell rolled up flies and... Dumbbell rolled up flies and uh, overhead tricep extension is actually supposed to be done on my A day. I'm actually doing my B day. I was supposed to have preacher curls, but it doesn't matter. I'll just do them next and switch out something that's about the same as what I would have on my A day instead of, that doesn't make sense. I'm gonna switch out what I've done now. Whatever's similar to it on my B-Day, I'm just gonna switch it out and not do it. But up next, I've got Preacher Curls, so go, go ahead and head over to those. Today I'm doing Preacher Curls on the original one with the Easy Bar. Usually I use the machine, there's one back there, but I tested it out, I didn't really like the feel of it, so I just thought, what's better than the original, right? So, again, that's what's nice about these programs I make. I can always switch out a few variables and just 
make it as intricate, and do what I want with it. And I love that about the program, that I can only switch up things and, and have it so that it can accommodate me and my needs. Stopped one short on that last set there. Had a bit more in the tank. I don't know why I stopped, but just stopped for some reason. Got face pulls and tricep pull downs. I was originally supposed to do push downs, but last week when I was training with a friend and my brother, I've already done it twice that week because usually I don't do a lot. I do tricep pull downs instead of push downs. But like I said, originally I was supposed to do push downs today. Just gonna switch that out and do pull downs instead just to get a bit of variation and yeah, have that evenness to everything. I was gonna say too, I'm a lot more energetic than I thought I'd be, probably because I've had coffee, but energy's high, I'm still getting reps out. Could also just be that I'm just happy to be in the gym, as usual. Like, I wanna be here. I wanna be training consistently. Everything's just flowing in a way. Just going from one exercise to the other one. Feeling really good about them, even though I've slept a little and stuff like that. I'm just trying not to let that play on my mind, because if you, do put things like that in your mind, then it'll come to pass. Because what you focus on does usually happen, right? So just trying to stay out, stay out of that up the negative zone and just be as positive as possible. Things off a little bit differently today. Uh, I've got dumbbell incline curls as well as super ROM lat race. So super range of motion lat race. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'll show you all after here. I like to use it to, you know, just have or show myself that I still have mobility in my shoulders and just strengthen that upper part of uh, my range of motion. It's really helpful for shoulder press as well, you know, just getting it up. Having control over the weight when you're bringing it up and down. I just, I just like it a lot because it's very underutilized and a lot of people don't use it, but it's something that you should definitely have in your arsenal. This last superset as well is something that I usually just keep in the reserves. If I have a lot of time or if I don't want to do machine gear dealt, I'll just do these instead. So today we're going to do them. It's the first time doing it on camera, I believe, during the series. So like I said, something to have in your arsenal. Especially for those super round lat raises, the curls are more just to have a little bit more bicep work today. After this, I should be hitting some calf raises, of course, and I gotta do abs. Those are the last two things I'll do, and after that, I'll just end all of it. Alright, that's it for today's session. Biceps, triceps, and shoulders. I swear sometimes I, I don't even know what I'm training myself, but really good session today. Really happy with what I've gotten done. Even though I've had a little sleep and all that's going on outside, like I got things to do tomorrow and all that stuff, but you know, just coming in here, coming to the gym, which is my piece, it just makes you forget everything and I just focus 100% on what's going on in here, right? But, Hoping I have enough battery to show you what's going on outside. And this is actually pretty calm now compared to what it was yesterday, but it's still a madness. Nevertheless, I hope you all enjoyed the vid, and I'll catch you on the next one.